No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, my name is Francisco Godoy. Um, as I told you, my nickname is Pancho. That it's um, uh, a sort of bad way of calling people from Latin America, Panchitos. Uh, Panchitos, as Sudaca, as there are many nicknames to from Spaniards to call people from Latin America, and one of them is Panchito. Um, I'm from Chile. Uh, I was born in Santiago, uh, and I've been living in Madrid for ten years now. Um, I came here um, for a boyfriend, for love, uh, uh, and and the technical way I found to to come here was uh, being in a master program. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I really didn't want to want to study here at the beginning because I think that Spanish education is not the best one mm -hmm. in particular. And um, but well, at the end that was uh, what happened. Ah, in Chile I did uh, a degree in social work and then I did, did a degree in aesthetic in the philosophy mm -hmm. um, faculty. Um, and then I did this master program in Latin American studies and then another master program in contemporary art history and visual culture and then the PhD on the um, art history. Mm -hmm. As I told you the other day, the first place is here, it's my house that, as I told you, for me it is not just a place for um, sleeping and eating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is a play of uh, imagining a way of uh, how we live together. That is something that I think it's a book of Derrida or Bart Isabel's called How We Live Together. Um, because here we organize not only parties but also a lot of um, like one year and a half. Yeah, in the year 2016, we organized the first anti-racist encounter mm -hmm. of not European, white European people, only racialized people of color. Mm -hmm. um, and we organized it from here, like we, start, we had all the meetings, also the magazine of Matadero Black Negra. Uh, was, all the meetings have been done here and many, many projects have been organized uh, from here. So it is a place of, uh, of constructing all the discourses I have talked before about people of color and also queer people of color, more in particular. And um, so, but yeah. it is your personal home. Yeah, it is my personal home, yeah. but it's the, it is, um, yeah, for me it is, it is the, the place where I feel more safe and, and many of my friends, many, many friends without papers uh, feel very comfortable here because it's a, it's a place of security. Mm -hmm. That is something that right now in Spain uh, there is not that much security for us, mm -hmm. especially with all the nationalism, Catalonian nationalism and Spanish nationalism that right now is terrible. We talked that day about all these Spanish flags yes. in the city that is made scary. me afraid, it's scary, it's really, really scary. So we needed places, closer places to be um, more together mm -hmm. in a way. Chilean society is a very racist society. It is based mainly on whiteness as a superiority position and especially in the, in the art system, the art world. Um, so I was not very comfortable there to, yeah, I don't know how I, at the end I I've ended up working with art and the, the art system there is, um, is very elitist, it's very like high class people. So um, I really didn't feel pretty comfortable in that context. 
also because you know during the dictatorship a lot of Chilean people came here mm -hmm. um, in exile but most of the exiled people were also intellectuals and and so on so the idea that Spaniards has about Chileans are they are that they are white people and Chileans really believe that they are white people mm -hmm. so it was like a kind of reimagination of my own position here as somebody that is not white uh, in this context and that Spaniards think all the time that like you don't look like a Chilean you are not Chilean because you should look taller and, and more, white. more white and not that with those indigenous aspects.